Hello everyone. So TIFR JG Bill's results are out. And right now, some of you are totally bouncing in joy, right? Because you got a call or you got an email from them. You can see your name in the list and it's a precious moment. I still remember uh, when I got it in 2016. So congrats to all of you and I can see my social media is flooding with your messages and thanks for your wishes and I really find it uh, pretty much uh, joyful that many of you guys used my content and it was used for uh, it was like helpful for you and yeah you got benefit out of it. So let me tell you some important tips about this overall application process. So right now you see your name in the internet that means you are one step closer to your success but you are not there yet that means abhi khel to baki hai right now so right now you might be thinking that how to frame your scientific writer does cgpa matters does the interview process matter in this case so what are the basis of selection so let me clear about clear all of these things in this video before that, let me tell you, I have a detailed discussion session about this thing tomorrow sponsored by Unacademy. So, you can come and join Unacademy for this kind of discussion. It is totally free. It would be 10.30 p.m. in the night time. You can use my code AP10 to get an access. You can just download the Unacademy app and get into this lecture. Now, the link is given in the description. Let me tell you that how to frame your write-up. Your scientific write-ups work like Tinder. Imagine the person who is looking at your write-up is going to look at other thousand write-ups as well. So your write-up need to be attractive to draw his or her attention, right? Now, the way you are going to write your scientific proposal, that matters. Because if your proposal matches with the overall research interest with a professor now just kidding not this professor then what happens there could be a match this professor might be interested to further interview you about your interest and know more about that right there is an increased chance for that now that doesn't mean that you are going to write research proposal based on others interest your research proposal need to be logical and reasonable. So that what it counts. Now TIFR is an umbrella. It has TIFR Mumbai, NCBS and TIFR Hyderabad. So there is a diversity in terms of research. So you might get uh, a call from different institute based on your research idea. For example, somebody who is sitting in TIFR Mumbai is working on cell biology. And your research interest is on structural biology. A person who is in TIFR Hyderabad is doing structural biology. So obviously, the chances are you get call from TIFR Hyderabad, not TIFR Mumbai. That doesn't tell you that you are ineligible or not good or anything. That only tells you that your application is more appropriate towards this center. Now, all of these three centers has their own interview processes. The framework of interview is same. Two rounds of interview followed by a one on one session and then you might get a call. Now, these interview processes are separate. That means for three institutes, there would be three different interviews. You might get call for all of these three. You might not get call for all of these three. You might get call for one but not the another. That is also possible. Now, let me tell you these interview processes would be for PhDs, high PhDs and MSc. MSc stream is only valid for TIFR Mumbai because that's a MSc by research program that they conduct, not other places. Now, also it's important to know that this core in JG Bills is also valid for ISA Pune, NBRC or many other institutes. Now, they would separately contact you via email or there would be notifications on their website. So, stay tuned for that. But right now, few other things that is coming in your head is does CGPA matter? You might be thinking that I was not so kind of like studious or serious about studies in my first year of college. That, that's, that, that is why my CGPA was not good in the first year. Does it really matter? Do they look at it? What is the weightage of it? And let me tell you, you need to have a cutoff CGPA 
but it doesn't really matter they're not going to select you on basis of your cgpa okay only the basis of your cgpa the thing that really matters is the interview now in the interview what really matters is your critical thinking ability scientific aptitude logical reasoning etc because they are going to choose you based on your thinking skills how you can solve problems not based on how much knowledge you have acquired or how much you have crammed from the textbooks so these are the important things now if you want to learn about my own interview experience you can click on the link in the i button also many of you might think that internship has a huge role or weightage in terms of application is that really so i have also given a related video in the i button do watch that so i hope this video was useful to you if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and do let me in the do let me know in the comment whether you have qualified or not whether you got a call or not it would give me joy thank you see you next time